In 2019, I traveled down to Ghana and I did a video on Ghana where I explored most of what December in Ghana was like. But that video was very incomplete because that wasn't all we did. I need that hotel! Let's go, let's go, let's go. I need to showcase the parts of this journey that you guys never saw. So I'm going to show you three important places and share three important experiences that I had when I was in Ghana the last time. So let's jump right in. First up was Elmina Castle in Cape Coast. Elmina Castle was a castle that was built by the Portuguese during the slave trade era and I think eventually the Dutch took over the place. And now that slave trade has been abolished, the castle is now one of the most important tourism spots in Ghana. So what was the experience like going here? Every time I go to places and experience places like this, my heart just sinks. It's like I'm transferred back in time. You know, going through all these rooms where they keep like 20, 30, 40, 50 people. It's very saddening. It just shows you like a part of history that everybody needs to know about. This thing still continues up till today. It still continues between Africans and other Africans. It still continues between Africans and Europeans. There's this whole slave mentality that is still present in the day we live in today. So it's not like it has ended. So going to places like this, it just brings you back now. It just makes you realize that as a black person, we've been on a journey for a very long period of time. And everybody has a part to play in making sure that we come out victorious from this journey. You know, a lot of problems are plaguing Africa currently at the moment and it needs a collective effort of everybody to solve these problems that we're having. We need to work together to make sure that we make Africa great. One of the problems we faced when we were in Ghana was that it was so difficult to find a hotel. We booked the hotel online and by the time we got there, they were already giving the hotel to somebody else. Yeah. You can't something now. Call these people, please. Don't answer you. Call them. Uh, the reservation has been cancelled. So there was a new one. They're just here sitting down outside the black house. Very tired. So we need to do that transfer immediately because we're here to check in for our room and there are no rooms. So if you're going out to Ghana for the first time, definitely make sure. <laughs> you know, you confirm your apartment or you book a hotel or you're just sure that accommodation is confirmed if not you're gonna fall into problems so while searching for a hotel and while we're still stranded you know looking for this hotel that we're gonna stay because obviously accommodation is very important we heard of a place called Jamestown how many years you don't do for Jamestown yes sir mm. this only 10 years, 10 years. Best friend, smart. smart from Nigerian. Nigeria and Ghana, we are one, oh, wow. like husband and wife. Yes, of course. The way you are is Jamestown. Jamestown is the oldest part of Accra. Mm. It still really starts from here. Mm. Where you grow up, what you want to be? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Yes. That's nice. For me, in Accra, Jamestown was one of the places that I enjoyed my experience the most there. It also has a beautiful and colorful fishing harbor. And there's also this really amazing, interesting thing that happens every Sunday. Bike guy. So it's a very vibrant community with so many people and they're also very open and welcoming. I think one of the best times to even go to Ghana is December because everybody is very chilled and laid back. Nobody's stressing you out. Everybody's so open and welcome. And they were even willing to speak to us. So Jamestown is a must-see. If you're going to Ghana for the first time, definitely you know, check out Jamestown. Street walk currently. You know, most times when I go to a new place, I'm always trying to do a street walk. The street walk is how you get the vibe and how you get the energy of the city. As I was walking on the road, I suddenly met one of my subscribers and then he was willing to, you know, take us around Osu and show us around and also talk about some of the safety, tell us about what life is like there. 
So this is the local way like you guys used to get around, yeah, get around. in the city. Yeah, Short truck. Yes. Oh, yes, it's everywhere. Osu is a neighborhood in Ghana that is so vibrant, especially at night. You know, there are many shops on the streets. There's also an apartment there called Number One Oxford Street. This apartment is really nice. I wanted to tour it. I actually went there and spoke to them. But I think during that period, the management was not available, so I didn't get access to touring it or to showing you guys the video. Maybe when next I'm in Ghana, I'll probably check it out. But this building is really cool. It has a, there's a Lamborghini Aventador just inside a glass box outside. <laughs> you can see a lot of people here standing to take pictures and I'm sure that's probably the main owner's aim of having this car and having this nice building here to draw attention and to draw um, publicity to this building by itself. This just shows you how safe Ghana is generally. It's a street that the nightlife is just something else. There are clubs, there are supermarkets, pubs where you can just grab a drink. How do you sell it? Three city, three city. For which one? For this one? This one three city. We found a spot where we can get back to. And they also sell tilapia fish. Apparently, one bag will cost, I think, one CD. She's saying that the tilapia is 30 CDs. 30? Yes. Woo! That's right. So you go pour, you go pour the pepper yes. on top of everything. Thank you. Guys, I just got my bag and I'm going home to check it out and try it out. Thanks a lot for, <laughs> for showing us around. Ghana always holds a place in my heart. I love the vibe. I love the feeling when I'm in Ghana. I'm very laid back whenever I'm in Ghana. I'm very relaxed. In regards to getting things easily, if I want to order food, there's an app called Glovo. That's what I used to order food whenever I'm staying in Ghana. You can check it out. Glovo app is not even sponsored, by the way. In regards to apartment, if you're trying to get an apartment, I think most apartments start at like $100 per night. Where is enough money? Because Ghana, <laughs> Ghana is also kind of expensive on the high side, especially during December. If it's December, then everything goes up. You might be seeing $150 per night, $200 per night, depending on where you're staying. There are cheaper options too, but most of the cheap options, you know, if you want to be comfortable, you might not want to go for those really cheap options. But I'm sure there are cheaper options of probably $60, $70, $80. All in all, Ghana is really awesome. Ghana is really amazing. Ghana is also one of my most favorite countries in Africa. If I was to move to somewhere else in Africa, Ghana would probably be on the list. But I'm not leaving Nigeria yet, cha. But <laughs> if I was to go and live somewhere else, Ghana would definitely be on the list. So guys, I just wanted to share with you what a December experience in Ghana is like. If you've not watched my first video, this is like part two of my first video. Definitely go and check it out. I'm gonna link it up here so that you have the complete story. Yeah. I think that's all I want to share with you guys today. If you like this video, as always, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will definitely see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys for 300,000 subscribers. I have a lot more videos coming soon to you guys. So definitely stay subscribed. And I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Peace.